Let's focus on what government should do, economic dirigism. We want the 30 million new jobs. Tarpley for FedHead would be one way to do it. Right? You wouldn't need to wait for any kind of an election. Uh, we could have it done right now, and I would do it. So uh, consider this. Now, um, I noticed that the leading libertarian websites are not at all concerned about the fact that the pensioners of Detroit are getting shafted. Oh, they're scared by needles. They're afraid for their guns. They have all these fears. They're cowering and shivering. They don't seem to care that American working people are being pitched into genocidal conditions. Now, Nelson Mandela has died. We want to salute Nelson Mandela, uh, admire his work uh, very much. We don't see anything wrong with his uh, methods as far as they went. He had to ally with the countries in the world that were willing to help him, if that meant Cuba or whatever it meant. That's fine. He, need, he owed that to his own people. He couldn't try to be pleasing American uh, neocons. Um, the work that he did, of course, is as much as one man can do. If you look at South Africa today, you would have to say that the class struggle, class differentiations, rich and poor, the 1% and the 99%, the oligarchy and the people, these have largely eclipsed the racial question. So the African National Congress that he created has become, to some extent, uh, embroiled, the, the victim, let us say, of this process of uh, economic uh, division, right? the great inequality question. Concerning China and the, um, the defense, air defense uh, zone, uh, I think um, this is obviously serious and it's not good. The uh, Chinese... Communist Party, of course, has no communist element, really, except the demand for power. And um, what they've done is, as the communist ideology has atrophied, they've replaced this with a very crude kind of uh, nationalism. And they express this vis-a-vis places like Tibet. I would say, leave Tibet alone, leave Manchuria alone, leave all these things alone. They got Hong Kong, they got Macau, all of that is fine. Uh, as for these rocky promontories, can't we please finesse this? For Taiwan, I've always said, do a Chinese-style, long-term, wise solution. Do it for a 100 years. Say, Taiwan will today sign a treaty saying that it will revert to become part of mainland China in 100 years. Right? That would be a good long view of China. Concerning Ukraine, I think we've said it. This orange revolution, of course, was it turned out to be a lemon. It was the lemon revolution. Uh, Timoshenko, the gas princess, is in jail. We've got hysteria in Europe about the fate of the gas princess. She's as corrupt as anybody. Yanukovych, uh, I don't see how he can surpass her, although I guess he's trying. Um, the deal with the European Union is semi-colonial. This basically makes them into a kind of uh, offshore sweatshop a runaway shop for the European Union. But the reason this is being done, this is an offensive against Putin, right? It's, a, it's an attack on Russia for the very positive role that they've been playing in Syria and vis-a-vis Iran and otherwise. So I uh, am not uh, going to be in favor of any of that.